classic long layer is the type of cut that you can use to build a successful career. It is perhaps the most popular style for a salon client because it is feminine, easy to wear and has some length to it. This hair cutting technique is pretty much perfect for any type of hair texture. She's got perfect hair, it's a nice thickness, it's a nice density, and it's a nice amount of hair. It's really important for me to just check out the hairline. I can see that there's a light jump right through here, and as I closely inspect the hair, I see there's a little bit of movement, so there may be a little bit of wave inside or underneath this hair. Once we start cutting, I'll get to know it. So we've got Jackie's hair shampooed and conditioned. I've also got her in a perfect position where the top of her head is just to just below my sternum, which means that I'm going to be very comfortable because I'm going to be cutting in the core. So we've got to take the first section. So I'm going to now work with the comb. We're going to take the wide part of the comb. I'm going to place one of my fingers onto my comb. And I'm going to run this comb straight back. And as I come it straight back, that is going to create a really nice clean section. Now it's time to rotate. I'm actually going to rotate it to the side and I'm going to tuck myself in so my body is on an angle and I'm over the arm of the chair with my feet comfortable and my knees slightly bent. The next thing is I take my first section. My first section is going to follow the hairline. Notice how my thumb is placed on top of the comb and I comb all of that hair away. I want to create a really nice clean section for me so I can follow the section. It's also very important to make sure that it's an equal distance of thickness right the way through that section. I'm going to come behind the backs of my fingers and I'm combing this hair down to what is a natural fall. So I'm not over directing the hair forward. I'm actually combing the hair down to the natural fall. I'm going to rotate the head out just a smidging just a very slight amount as I come through and get really nice taut tension with the fine teeth of the comb. From just the corner of the mouth, I'm going to get the blade in and I'm actually going to start to move the blade before I touch the hair. So with the hair still nice and damp, but not dripping, start that razor motion working. And as the razor is moving, we like to say cut air before you cut hair. So now we're just going to very gracefully and lightly push into the hair. So you can see the first part of the cut has begun. We are going from just above the corner of the mouth, working down to the length. So it's really important to take small elements. It's very important to create a zero degree elevation and we're combing the hair nice and tight to the natural fall. My fingers are literally pointing straight down to the ground and I'm connecting so that my last point was right here. So now behind the backs of my fingers, I'm going to connect. And with a lightly, slightly open blade, I'm actually moving the razor and my fingers at the same time. So my fingers are sliding, holding nice tight tension on the hair. And I'm creating the initial line, which needs to be a C curved type section. Section number two is going to be parallel to section number one. And notice it's on a slight curve, so it's not a diagonal. Step one, create a central parting from the front hairline to the top of the head. Step two, create a quarter inch to half inch section following the hairline. Step three, cut in a C shape or curved line with zero degree elevation and tight tension.